Hi guys, I'm back. And as you can see, we've got some red paint, a white canvas covered in wet white paint, and a chain. And a little syringe. What we're going to try today is to create a rose in the center of the canvas by doing a chain pull. I haven't tried this before. I haven't done any kind of chain pulls where I haven't pulled it off the side. So this is as new to me as it is to some of you. Uh, fingers crossed that this is going to work. We've got the syringe just in case there's like too much white paint piling up in the middle. I'm going to try and suck it out without causing too many problems. I hope. That's the plan. So we're just going to set that off to the side. The chain. We got a new chain. So the uh, bedroom ceiling fan is happy again. It has its chain back. This chain um, was like less than a dollar at Walmart in the hardware section. And, um, you know, any of your, your hardware stores or your home improvement stores are going to carry these in the, you know, whoever carries ceiling fans is going to carry these. So, um, yeah, it's like 72 inches long, which is way longer than what we need for this. But, uh, you know, I still wanted to, I don't want to cut it. So we're going to use it as is. And hopefully I can hold it all in, in my hands there. I'm going to take the, take the stick out of my paint there. Um, and, uh, yeah, we're just going to get started. Um, <laughs> I don't, don't know what I'm doing here, so we're going to keep our fingers crossed. I really don't know how much of this we need, but we're going to start with, you know, maybe like a piece about a foot long. My last chain was probably, oh, about two two and a half feet long for those of you who asked me how long the chain was and I am you know sort of holding the chain like this between my fingers and sort of running my fingers down to um, get rid of all the excess paint We're just going to pull it into the middle because we're going to go back over that anyway. And I'm going to pull that white paint off of my chain as best I can. And I've got a wet rag. So I just sort of ran my fingers down the chain. I don't want this to get too contaminated with white paint. It's pretty so far. Okay. <laughs> I'm a little afraid to do this. Well, that's kind of cool and we are running the chain down with the wet rag again try and get most of that that white paint off of there because I really don't want the white paint to turn my red paint into pink paint we're getting a fair amount off of it I'd say back into the red paint I'm just kind of dipping it a few times just to sort of if there's any white left on there it'll kind of mix in Right now we're really just trying to get the outside edges of this flower going here, so it doesn't matter if we're not getting any uh, any of the white out of the middle yet. We'll go back over that one in just a, a few minutes here. Now I'm going to take my chain and we're going to try and get all that white paint off of it yet again. It's working pretty well. As you can see, we're getting most of the, the uh, white and red paint off of there. And just dipping it back in the red. I 
okay. <laughs> We're definitely gonna have to suck out some of that white because we've got quite a bit pooling in the middle there but that's okay we'll get to it I just want to get you know sort of the outside outside edge of our flower here going we, I guess we could probably take a palette knife and scrape that out too which we may do. That may be a little easier than trying to suck it out with the... And I really am. I'm holding this chain pretty snug between my fingers. Um, so you guys, you know, if you want to try this. Okay, this is where I'm starting to get a little nervous because <laughs> I don't know, you know, we're... we definitely need to get some of that white paint out of there, though. Although maybe we'll do like one more row and see where that gets us. Okay, so we got the chain mostly cleaned off. That's good. I'm trying to decide whether I want to go ahead and try and get rid of some of that white. I think we're going to go ahead and do one more row and see what happens. We can always go back over. That's the beauty of these chain pulls is, you, you know, you can kind of play with them. You can go back over a section if you don't like it. Like this little spot right there kind of bothered me, but I'm not going to touch it because so far it's looking pretty cool. Okay, this is where I get a little nervous here. Because like I said, I haven't done this before, so... Don't know what it's going to do. Sorry, I know my hand is in the way. Just tapping all that paint down on the table that I'm pulling off of my chain. I know you guys can't see everything I'm doing. I'm sorry. Um, but I, you know, I take the chain, I pull the chain off the canvas there, bring it over to the side. Pull my fingers down to get most of that white off of there. And then I've got my, my wet rag here that I'm getting all of the, the remaining, you know, red and white off of there. I'm trying to anyway. Okay, so we've got a lot of white paint down there. I'm starting to think we're going to have to get it off soon. I'm just kind of dunking my chain down in the red a couple of times to really if there's any white left on there, kind of get it mixed in a little bit better. Okay. Alright, we definitely need to get rid of some of that white now. I think it's time... So, I'm still trying to decide whether I want to try and suck it off of there <laughs> or just use the palette knife. I'm not sure. Oh, let's, let's see if we can suck some of that off of there. There's really not as much as I thought there was. It's like not really, there's not much coming up. Which is good. That's good. Okay, that's good. We're going to leave that as is. Pick up our chain again. I'm doing pretty well holding it in my hand, but I don't want to jinx myself, so chain back in the red paint. I'm going to pull that 
pull the paint off of the chain. And let's see where to go next. I don't even know. <laughs> don't ask me what I'm going to do when we get to the center. I have no idea. I honestly really have no idea. Now, this doesn't really look like a rose to me. It looks more like a, maybe a carnation or something. But I was born in January, so carnation is my flower. Okay. Let's see where we're going to go next. I really want to get some more of that white paint off there, so I'm going to set the chain down. Let's see if we can suck some of this paint off of there. There's really not much coming off, but we are getting some, so... Okay, let's uh, go forth and conquer this chain pull, right? Okay, we are almost done. Thank y'all for your patience. <laughs> I know some of you are probably getting a little tired of this by now. Okay, sorry, the camera cut off because I ran out of battery, so um, let's finish this up real quick. Try to. Uh, the only thing I did off camera was I just sucked a little bit of the white out of there. Um, I don't think we're going to need much of this chain. So we're going to try and get this done real quick before my camera cuts off again. And I'm really not even sure where to go with this. Trying to sort of get this where it looks like it's doing something a little more interesting than that. But let's put that tip back down there in the paint and see if we can't. Okay, there we go. We're going to leave that. It's not great, but it's better than it was. Um, okay, that's kind of bothering me there. Dad looks like a hint of red right there. So that little swirly right there is really bothering me. Okay, that's a little better. Okay, that's where we're going to leave it. I think it actually turned out pretty cool for my first try. I'm excited. Okay. I was thinking about maybe putting some green leaves in here, but maybe I'll wait for another one. Maybe we'll do like a long canvas. We'll do one of these on the top and then like some leaves coming down or something. Um, so yeah, this is where I'm going to leave you. I'm going to get you a close up real quick. Okay. And the red is not quite as bright as you see it on the screen. Um, you know, my camera doesn't like reds uh, and like um, the reds and the bright oranges too well. But I think for our very first flower, this turned out pretty cool. I'm not real thrilled about the inside, the center of it, but it's okay. It's not bad. I love the, the you know, the pattern that that chain makes on the outside. That's just cool. And I, I'm going to torch it in a minute. Um, but I imagine all it's going to do is pop air bubbles and create more little white dots throughout the rows. So. 
All right, guys, there's your pretty for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, chain pulls are a lot of fun. They just make really cool patterns. So uh, those of you who asked me about my thickness of my paint for chain pulls, it's the same as for anything else I do. I rarely deviate from the same thickness um, that I use for like my pores or anything else really. It's all basically the same. Uh, nice thick honey. And that's about it. Um, I, sometimes I will make the, the paint a little thinner on the canvas if I'm doing like a pour over it and I need a lot of white. Um, but that's about it. It's, it's pretty much the same thickness for me. So, uh, yeah. So thank you for supporting my channel. If you guys would like to check out my website, I'd love that. The link is below for that. Um, if you'd like to donate to my channel, my PayPal link is below. Uh, any paintings you see, they're all for sale. So if you guys, you know, are interested in something, just send me an email, you know, or comment below. Um, I'll be glad to, you know, finish them up and send them out to you. And I want to thank all my subscribers, everyone who views my channel. Um, all the lovely, lovely comments I got lately about my dogs <laughs> and then drinking water. Um, you would not believe the amount of support I got over, you know, over that so thank you very much for that i appreciate that it's nice to know there's a bunch of bunch of other people out there who feel the same way that i do so yeah we are in the georgia heat here so um yeah i'm not i'm not picking up my dog's water bowl they can drink all they want uh yeah so that's about it for today um if you guys would please watch the ads for me please uh i get a little bit of ad revenue from that just as all youtube our artists get we get ad revenue and it really helps to support our channel so thank you very much in advance for for doing that for us all right see you later bye